Hello and welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. This is our first video of 2018. It is February the 5th and it is the coldest week we're going to have this year apparently. You've just stolen all of my life. <laughs> Uh, we just wanted to update you on where we've got to with our kitchen unit. It's taken a while, but uh, this week we're back on it and we've got a few days to try and complete it. Yeah, so hopefully this video will be the last that we do. Um, Part four and end of. Hopefully. What you can see in shot at the moment is our table that we purchased. Um, that is going to make it's our... It's not a table, it's a door. <laughs> it looks like a table because it's on okay, one. Okay, take two. What you can see in shot here is the uh, door that we're going to use. It's an actual door and we're going to cut it, splice it into bits and use it as a sort of worktop. Yeah, worktop lift up lid unit. And incorporate, it's got handles, I'm not sure if they're in shop, but on the side that we're going to try and incorporate if we can, although we haven't thought about it too much yet, so we're not sure. One thing I highly recommend buying before you even start the van build are these knee pads, knee protectors. You spend a lot of time on your knees, depending on the height of your van, I suppose, as well scrovelling around, kneeling, mm. kneeling in there so you don't have to crouch with kneeling. your head slanted. Kneeling on the uh, intro to a video quite needlessly. So. Yeah. <laughs> so purchase one of these early on in your self-build career. We have done a bit of progress on the unit that we didn't film, but we'll made pop in. a bit of progress. We have made a bit of progress on the unit that we didn't film. I'll chuck in some B-roll now. We've made um, a couple of drawers, but as it's the same process we've done before, there's no point in showing you exactly what we did. Uh, you can see that in previous videos that we've done. So it's knee protectors on and it's time to crack on. So this is our design. We've made these two cupboards. We've had to remake the catches as well. We've done the other cupboard inside too. Just far better, higher quality catches that are going to last a lot longer. So we've done our two brace inside, which it's screwed to. Same uh, rope handles that we've used before. So now we're going to crack on and uh, make a door for this bit. Uh, vertical planks of wood. And then we're going to make one for here, which that will flip down to. Uh, but it will all start coming along nicely today. We've also got a genius idea to make this door hinge from here and then become some sort of table. So stay tuned to see us create that masterpiece. So the next step here is to add the hinges. It's all ready to go now. We've got to try and make sure it all stays in a line just to try and make it look square, make it look nice, make it all fit in together. You'll be pleased to know that these hinges took at least half the time as it did the first time we did hinge o'clock. So we're coming on, we're, uh, we're learning.
what a lovely sound. These are our new catches and um, they're far better than what we were using before so scrap that, don't use the magnetic ones. Um, we've got female and male brackets that slip into one another nicely and it's quite nice, you do have to put a bit of elbow grease to open them up so I'm hoping that these won't um, with use like degrade and become crap because they're working really well at the moment anyway so hinges on all done beautiful for my next trick we're going to make a small exactly the same as this but smaller smaller uh, flats that all right we're gonna have to make sure we choose the right depth of planks i have to go thinner or one fat one and that's gonna drop down like that and this, as we've discussed before in the past, this is where our cooker's going to go, so it's going to be concealed during the day when it's not in use. Forget about size and rules Payment and the long, long road, yeah. And you're always in such a rush. Mm. With your life playing from the stereo. It's been a few weeks since we've been able to get some time to work on the kitchen unit but we've made a little bit of progress in the meantime. This is where we're at so far. Since the last time you saw us we've managed to finish the pull down cupboard, drawer thingy, very simple. Same design as the rest but it works pretty well. Uh, we've also, if we swizzle it around a little bit, added these two here. They're, they're sturdy, they stay in place and then we've made another door. Same design as before, you should be familiar with it now. Uh, we've changed our mind as to how this is actually going to operate, I think. Um, we were thinking about making a table that comes out like that, but the way it's got to be attached to the roof of the van and different table legs and things like that just isn't going to work, it's going to be too complicated. So we've got to fit that today. And then it's on to the top, the table top, the door top. Once this is finished, the next part, as Meg said, is the tabletop. That is definitely going to be the hardest bit because how we're going to attach it without destroying the structural integrity of the door, I don't know yet. Stay tuned to see the masterpiece unfold. First lot of really nice warm sun we've had for a long time. I'm almost considering taking my hat off, but uh, Meg gave me a haircut about a week ago. And, uh, it's a nice haircut. It's not quite the best. That looks awful. <laughs> Put it back on quick. <laughs> It looks like it's been clipped up by a kid. We'll be gone forever, never in a lifetime. Will you see us back here again? So come before it's too late. Hurry now, cause I can't wait. Let's put on our anthem. We'll be singing all night long, all night long. We are now at the next step. We have made the little door cover that is going to be used as a tray at the same time. You get the bottom one. If you yeah. Can. That's going to allow nice, quick and easy access to the gas and water storage at the back of the van. And also double as a little tray. I thought this might do for breakfast in bed quite well. So obviously, initially at the beginning of this video, we said we we're going to have a lift up table. Um, after thinking about it, the practicalities didn't really work out no. um, so we've gone with the removable tray option and we have got other ideas for another table elsewhere in the van anyway so we should be okay. Yeah. But next task is building the top out of the door which I think this is going to be more difficult than any task we've done before. Uh, any skilled carpenter will probably know what to do and as by now you know we are not skilled carpenters particularly. The sun's shining so that's a good omen. 
the glasses back on. <laughs> right. We've been doing a lot of head scratching and we're just making the arrangements for trying to make it as structurally as stable as possible and really sturdy. So we're kind of just looking at it for ages and then going, oh, well, if we do this, this is going to be the best way to, to um, support the hinges. Um, but nothing's ever quite as straightforward. You have it in your head, then you realise you've got to cut it out and it's like, all right, OK, then. So. That's going to go like that, and that's what the hinge is going to go on for this part. This is going to be just screwed in. We're going to cut the piece on the top there. This is also going to be a little segregation thing. That's got to go in. It's all looking good. Okay, so here we are on April the 20th, 2018. We started this video what seems like years ago. Um, my hair's grown back since. February, I think we started. Right, we've got the lid on. We, we need to do a lot more sanding, varnishing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we've cut it all out. We've just put the hinges in, and this is gonna be the first time we try and open it. As you may know, our past with hinges has been quite... Uh, Embarrassed. Yeah something great so hopefully this lifts up and sort of just nicely folds back enough so we can access the cooker and everyone's going to be happy um, so here we go in three two one <laughs> thank god it worked ah oh, that is probably the best hinge job we've done and yes we have created the frame and the structure of the kitchen unit. It's only taken us the best part of two months. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> been a labour of love. Nuts and bolts rating would probably be very high. And if we're being honest, we have had to have a little bit of help. Yes. Um, your sister and her partner actually know what they're doing with this kind of stuff. So they helped us make the cut for this. Yeah. which we were really not very confident about at all. Yeah, as you said, this was a recycled door, but we still had to spend a decent little wedge of money on it, and we only had one chance, really, to get this right without destroying the entire structure of it. But uh, this turned out really well. So the structure itself in the cupboard is made, so we're going to end the video here. Obviously, it needs a bit more titivation. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be fitting a tap at some point. Uh, we've got to put the cooker in. Uh, I'd like to quite... Like, I quite like to line the cupboards. Well, they've got to be hoovered out as well because there's just loads of sawdust in there still. Um, with like a liner uh, and also maybe some partitions. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with us on this journey. This has been a, a very long time, really. Yeah, this one's been definitely the longest because at the beginning of the video, if you go back to the beginning, this window wasn't in. The next video you'll see is us fitting it, probably. Uh, but to keep up to date with what's going on, follow us on our social medias, Facebook, uh, Twitter and Instagram. And also we've got a website at www.campcomforts.co.uk where we're blogging and updating that periodically and trying to like uh, encapsulate the whole build progress and what happens afterwards. 
give us a like, give us a subscribe. If you'd like to ask us anything, go ahead in the comments, reach out on social media. We'll see you next time. All relevant links will be down below in the uh, video description box. And that's about it for now, isn't it? Yep, see you next time. Bye. Did I press record on the camera? <laughs>